Hi guys, uh, hope you all had a great Christmas, New Year, holidays, however you celebrate or don't. Uh, now this is a quick video regarding over the air updates and how much simpler can this can this be getting these days. Uh, there we got the quad that we're going to be using to just do the update. We got a little TBS nano receiver here, a tiny little thing connects to this uh, antenna and so we're going to be first of all updating this and then this is the module that goes into the back of a radio this is a um, I think it's called a JR module it's a made in China thingy but never mind this is very good and this is I tell you what you know I, I really do like this this is not a review this is not a anything um, this is just uh, uh, over the air how great this is getting and how this is a is a gift that just keeps giving or well, not a gift i had to go out and buy it but look i've i've found out that you there's there's a wi-fi module wheels into here a bluetooth module and i can have it connect to my devices via wi-fi for wi-fi or bluetooth it uses a mavlink protocol which means that you can do other things with it like for ground control stations um so it is it is one of these ones that carries on given that this is a few years old and i've been thrilled with it since i bought it and i'm still thrilled with it today and i just want to show you how easy it is to do the over the air um up updates and how easy it is to update one of these so let me just plug this in here and as you can see it shows you the state of that, if I can just put that down here and look across the computer, um, we can already see. Let me just click onto my devices there, and you can see there's my uh, little indicator there because uh, we're connected, and it's there's the Wi Fi part of this, and I've also got a diversity receiver and a micro receiver. This is going to be connected to the nano receiver, right? So it's going to the into the transmitter, the crossfire transmitter, that's the XF crossfire transmitter. And we can look in the firmware, and we can look and we can see the current firmware is 6.10. There's an update, it's a beta version, but that doesn't really matter with TBS. It's gonna all be good. And now there's a release note here, so we get to see what it is that's been updated. Let's have a little look. We got that added barrow sensor support. Right from the top, you may have to run the update twice, one times update, one times refresh, as all update protocols have to be revi revised and improved. Okay, replaces 612 and 610. Added bar barrow sensor, that's barometer, fixes update issues with Agent X for full size TX, TX Lite, and TX Micro TX. Fix bug in Tango, fix backward compatibility of EEPROM.bin. Resilient OTA over the air updates with improved security, restored PWN channel maps due to popular demand. Oh, good. Because like, I got the diversity received. That's got PWN channels on that, that I still want to use. Faster binding after over the air update, improved reliability of SD card on the Tango 2 and Mambo. Add idle up to gimbal bypass mode for KISS users. Fix Mavlink version 1 issue in 6.10. Fix bind issue after OTA update. Did he know? Uh, mirror fix for double pop up during OTA. Minor, sorry, not minor, not mirror, minor. Uh, minor new LED blinking patterns for OTA. Minor ask users to reload firmware in Agent M. That's that's TBS uh, Agent software on your phone, mobile. Agent M. I'm using Agent X, which is uh, I think that's a dodgy old virus or something from years and years ago but it's not actually it's tbs agent x and that's what's in my laptop at the moment so we got this uh yeah agent x not agent x a minor tracer link stats fix of beta light osd beta flight osd minor multiple child firmwares in the sd cards really Minor violet LED color on Tango 2 for validating firmware. Multiple child firmwares in the SD cards. 
minor more responsive RGB LED fix the Tango 2 Mambo random PPM pulse before startup. I do believe there's no more PPM on these now. But anyway, so let's just close that then and go ahead and do this update. And I'm just going to click that to there. So there we can go. We can see with the voice updates 16.13. And I'm just going to click on the update here and let it go ahead. Now, as you can see when it starts doing its updating. Would that be better? No, I don't think it really. If I can just go in like that. So it's just basically saying it's updating the firmware. Off it goes. This is fantastic. Now, did it say it said do it twice, didn't it? So I'll, I'll do it again. Once this is happy, it's done its uh, updating subsystems and verifying. Okay. It's just doing the verify. Hundred percent. But I'll wait until that says. Uh, oh, I wonder if it's actually doing it again, or it's updating the different the subsystems. It says there. It says there. Uh, yeah, I bought this to go in the back of my radio instead of using two point four gigs. I just wanted to use a lower frequency for that extra bit of range, you know, at the same sort of power. All right, so that's it, we're complete now. Now what I can do is I can take this out of here. I can just, just go backwards for a second while we got it in here and just go back into devices. And now I can see that the uh, TBS Crossfire is on 613. And these are on lower <clears throat> uh, firmware settings. But the one that's in here, let me just come back here again. The one that's in here, the firmware that's on here, I'm just gonna take that out now, uh, is low again. I can't remember what it is on there. It could be, I think it's 610. It's gotta be 610, I'm pretty sure it is. So I'm just gonna put this back into the back of my radio. Easy that is. But uh, that's it, it's in. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to turn this on. Welcome to Urban TX. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the security on the card, whatever. All right. So now you can see there that we're just in this mode to go. And I'm just going to check my power here. Add power cables. Oh. <coughs> Now, that's good, but nothing ever fits. So let me just put this on here like this. And I, ha I have to put the fan on this because even though it's on 25 milliwatts and uh, I sort of can feel it's going to pit mode, but mm, for some reason it's just not doing it. But never mind, it doesn't matter. So now what I'm going to do, while this is, I just want it to be in. So now I'm just going to power this on. I'm just going to power this on now. We can just go into this now. So we got the transmitter here, devices, of course it can't see the other one. Um, right, team raising, video transmitter, head tracker, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, radio settings. So there's some more, um, <clears throat> there's some more settings there that I've not even looked through yet. So we're just going to click on where it says bind, I'm just going to click that and then it will do it automatically. There we go. Update the Nano RX. That's what it says on there. So I'm just going to say yes. Click on that. Just put that a little bit further distance away. It's just because I don't like them being so close together. I could probably pull that a bit further down there, but I don't want to mess around any cables. Thirty percent. The update done. Do you know with the free the, the, the FR Sky stuff? Uh, sometimes that could be a pain in the backside doing updates, and I know everything is changing. And of course, you know maybe they're all doing that as well. But my interest was 
when I first got into it, I just wanted to buy a few bits of kit that were gonna, that were gonna work, last, and be good. And uh, I think I did quite well with this Tyrannus radio. Even though, you know, they've been superseded now by color screens and touch screen even. <clears throat> but still, this, uh, this TBS module that plugs in the back is just, uh, it's fantastic. I absolutely love it. Right, now it's doing the RX is loading, do not interrupt. Flashing away on there. And now we're going through the bind process. And now, just give it a few seconds, we're bound. There we go. We have now just done the update of this module on the back. And this module can connect, it's got all the firmware in it for all the other receivers as well. So if the receiver's already on something, all you've got to do is put this into the bind mode, power up the receiver, and bang, it starts bind, it'll do that process for you. Fantastic, over the air updates, brilliant. Thanks to whoever thought of it, and you know, as far as I remember, TBS, I think were one of the first ones, but there are gonna be other systems out there, I'm sure. Uh, absolutely fantastic. Thank you guys if you've watched this far and I'll, uh, I'll speak to you in the next one. Bye bye.